Why would you sound this way, ma'am? I am sounding this way because I wouldn't want anyone to blame me for not saying it plainly. That is why I have elected to say the way I said it. Okay, let me be civilized and allow you get to your point. Why would you say that she's not the right woman for me? Oh, very good then. Now listen, she is a beautiful woman, no doubt. She has class and has a strong sense of fashion. I wouldn't bother about her ability to cook because I know you men of these days prefer to eat out. But I still know she's not the ideal woman for you. That's all. That's all. Mother, don't you think that you're beginning to cross the line? Don't even start, okay, Chukwu? Have I ever interfered in your politics? But when it comes to the issue of who you will get married to, I have a say. Do you think you have a say in my private life? Really, mother? You think you should have a say in my private life? Because I am your mother. Okay, Chukwu, you didn't marry early enough when I had wanted you to. And now that you finally made up your mind, it has to be someone I will be comfortable with. You lie, mother. You're wrong. It has to be someone that I will be comfortable with. My life, my wife. I will marry to this woman, not you. I will live with her, not you. This has nothing to do with you. And I am the one that is going to have her as a daughter-in-law. So don't even try to play that on my stand. <laughs> no. Okay, Chuku. For me, I don't see anything wrong in what the princess did. Yes! I mean, why is everyone trying to crucify her for taking a bold step towards what she likes? Listen, what my princess did is what I called shoot your shot. Yes, and it's not a topic to be discussed right now, please. Hmm. I am not surprised at all. Who else can this kind of thing be coming out from if not you? So if they leave you now, you go and ask for a man's hand in marriage. I wonder what this world is turning into. See the way she even said it. Shoot your shot. My Indeed. Mm. Exactly. Please let us concentrate on the subject matter here, which is a whole process of Amanato. Going after a man. I wonder what people like us will now do. As for me, all these things you people are saying is not even making any sense at all. To me, I stand with the princess Kidiba. And that is why I said Ineka is super civilized. I'm with you, Biko. At least I now have a go-ahead to shoot my own shot. I pity you. Don't you know that when you ask a man out, you lose the respect he has for you? Exactly. These people calling themselves civilized there, they don't even know anything. There is no one book that defines constitute civilization. So do well not to insult me so I won't take it personal with you. And you all, I mean you, 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 must be made to know that not all men reason like the ones in your conclusion. Yes, there are some men you approach and they will cherish you forever. I mean forever. <laughs> <laughs> what do you even know about men? Is it not this village that you and I are in? Ask me. Yes, I might be a village girl, but I am enlightened. I read wide and I watch films that teach me the way. If you don't know what to say, just shut your mouth. Why will you shut her up? Yeah. Yes. Why will you shut her up? See, as for me, I strongly support our princess. Yes. I support what she is doing. And I am her biggest fan. Me too. Oh, you people should live here. I beg. You better. Just imagine these people. I now they are gone, please let us discuss then. like mature ladies. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That day, I went to this. From the look on your face, it is obvious there is something wrong. 
Do you mind telling me about it? Ah, uh, Nidu. You don't want to talk about it, leave it. I don't understand. Wait. Your mother doesn't like the girl. How did you know? Come on, it's a normal thing. It's not a big deal. Don't worry about it. I'm certain she will come around. Oh no. I don't think so. They do. My mother told me to my face that I cannot have Ozioma as my wife. Now that aside, now what bothers me is what makes my mother think she has the rights to interfere in my private life to that extent. No, wait, to that extent. <laughs> no, do why are you laughing now? What, what's funny? You see, please, stop unleashing your political aggressiveness on your mother. She obviously doesn't deserve it. Now, I will advise you on the right place to channel your aggressiveness. That is to your boss, the governor, not your mother. You're speaking English. I am telling you that my mother told me that I can Look, dude, you, you know what else she told me? She told me that simply because I did not get married when I was supposed to get married, you know, that she has now taken it upon herself to be the one to make the choice of a woman for me. She's crossing the line. You don't get it. I totally get it. <laughs> You're just bothering yourself. I think, listen, just keep preaching to her. I'm certain she will have a change of heart. Okay. With what you have just said, it's a confirmation that you don't know my mother. Change of heart. You wait. She is just a mother. And doing the thing that mothers do. Just be calm. She will come to like this girl. Certainly. Okay. And is that why you're disagitated? Yes. Oh, yes. And one more thing, Ozioma. She's not helping me, too. Uh, how do you mean? She's not forthcoming. You know, she's, she's laid back. She's, she's not giving me answers. She's not, you know, you know what I mean? Like, you know, she's been like a desicle. And I don't, I don't, it's almost as if I'm the one who wants this marriage to happen. Like, I'm, you know, like, you know. You get, like, she's not forthcoming. You know, I'm beginning to think that you are just the one getting yourself worked up here. You're always on the fast lane. Ozema is a woman. And what she's doing is normal with women. Come on, you don't expect her to just give you an instant answer. Why not? Calm down. Alice, find solace in the fact that the girl loves you. Love. <laughs> Love. Ah, ah, they do. I'm beginning to doubt the said love here. If she loves me, she won't be stalling. Don't you think? I think you're overthinking. And it's not good. Well, you won't blame me now. I'm, I'm trying to process the entire thing. I'm, you know, I have my mother to deal with and then Ozioma. Processing this whole thing, it's... Okay, okay. Let's keep that aside. Uh, where is Ozioma now? With your mom? Really? <laughs> With my mom? <laughs> How can that even happen? Ozioma does not even know what my mother thinks of her. <laughs> At least for now. So please, I'm, I'm just trying to be careful. Please. Uh -huh. <laughs> From what you know of me, would you say I am bothered? I know you are not bothered. And that is why I'm here. The people are saying many things. The people. Who cares? I mean, who cares about what the people say? It is none of my business. I mean, how else do you want me to explain this to you for you to understand? I understand 100%, my princess. But the fear is, where do we hide? Hide? For what exactly? What are we hiding from? 
I mean, in a situation where Okechukwu Uzonko, the SSA to the governor, rejects your proposal, where do we hide? Swear on the staff that it wasn't my father that put you to this. I swear immediately, my princess. The king was not the one that put me up to this. I'm only acting on my own as the head of the maids. I am only bothered if the SSA turns down the proposal. Princess, we are finished. So what exactly are you, are you trying to say? What, what are we going to do? Let us not wait for his response. Let's go and withdraw the proposal. No! No. Never. I have already made the proposal. I will never withdraw it. And he cannot say no to me. For the man who will say no to me has not even been born. Why is she so stubborn more than the father? Hey. Baby. Hey. Mm. You look good. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, look at you. You didn't even tell me that you're coming. I see. So now I have to take permission before coming to your house. No. No, no, that's that's not what I meant, but hey, it's good to see you. You look good. Thank uh, you. I'm rushing off for an all-important meeting this morning at the State House. Who? how do I look? You look wonderful. Sharp, right? Yeah, as Great. always. Great. So, are you not forgetting something here? What? If you asked me to come pick up a check today. Oh, that one. Yeah, come mm, on, I remember. It? I didn't forget. I'm not running. I'll give it to you. Uh, but for now, please just let me go. Hmm? Well, hope you've had something to eat. Tell me it's looking flat. Oh, well, I'll do lunch. But she likes a brunch. <laughs> huh? I love you. I love you too, baby. Just come here. Mm. All right. Sir, please. You can't go in and see him now. Because he's who? Do you even know the man you're, 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 you're trying to stop? Do you know? Do you know? Sir, so you don't have any appointment with him. What is this? Listen, I am here to see the governor. You are his senior special assistant on special duties. I am a special man who is here for a special business with the governor. So I want you to fix the meeting immediately. There are some governors that you can see like this. Not my governor. Uh, by saying not your governor, are you trying to say that I'm not going to see the governor? What I am saying is that I do not know how you found your way here. Obviously, sir, do not do this again. This is a government house. We have rules here. We abide by strict rules. Don't do this again. Please show him out. Yes, sir. Well, I'm going to leave. But I want you to know that I am coming back. And I am coming back specifically for you. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. Honestly, Ugune, without mincing words, I will tell you immediately that I am very disappointed. Really? No, Priscilla. I am the one who is deeply disappointed in you. Are you kidding me? Even you? What do you mean, even me? Don't you know you are a princess? Do you sometimes forget that you're the first daughter of Amanato? I don't get it. Are you here to educate or criticize me? Which one? See, I know you know all those things already. 
yet you keep behaving as if they should keep talking to you about it. I mean, do you know how odd it sounds for a woman to propose to a man? Talk more of a princess. Listen, all these things you're saying will not make me change my mind one bit. What is wrong with you, Priscilla? I am mature enough. I can make a choice for myself. Don't I have the right to speak up, to say what I want as an adult? What is all this? The princess this, the princess that. I don't get it. The princess, is she not a human being? Your father is a good man. That's why you're still talking. If it's my own father, he would have disowned you. <laughs> Your wish. Well, the thing is, I love the young man. I want him. And I'm going for him, whether you like it or not. So are you in support or not? You think I will support you going around throwing yourself at a low life like him? No. Oh, so because he's the one now, he's a low life. So you are in support of me throwing myself at any other person, right? That is not what I am saying. Then what are you saying? You are a princess for goodness sake. Stop it already. What do you expect people to say? Besides, it's not our tradition. Oh, so you want to tell me that you know the traditions and customs of this land more than I do? I don't, but... But what? No, go ahead and tell me. Tell me the tradition. Educate me more on it. I have said my own. This is not right, and you know it. Whatever it is, you can speak for yourself, Priscilla. You cannot speak for me. Mm. Mamo, come, my dear friend. Ah, ah. Anyway, you know, no matter how angry you get at me, you will always and always remain my friend. Is that why you treated me like that the last time? Ah, is that why you're squeezing your face? Eh? Is, it, is it not enough for me to squeeze my, my, my face? Anyway, no problem. I know why you, you do these things. I know why you treat me as if I'm less than human. Oh no, but you saw that I was already going out that day. But you wanted to continue with your discussion. Anyway, it's all over. Hmm? I'm sorry, forgive me, oh. Forgive me. Forgive me now? <laughs> it, it's not in, enough to, to say it next time. Hmm? You, you shouldn't be treating me as, as if I'm a nobody. Ah, Mamuka, but you know you lied. Me, Millicent, treat you like a nobody. You know that's not possible. Ah, ah. Anyway, I've forgiven you now. If I don't forgive you, who, who will give me food? for me and my children to eat. Oh, no, 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 don't even go there. Don't even go there. You know you're my friend. My house is your house. You are free to come in any day, any time and take whatever you want. Anyway, I purposely invited you over to observe this, your beautiful face once again before I transfer your children's school fees into your account. Hey! <laughs> And this is the friend I'm supposed to be fighting with. Hey, who are you? Hey, you know, God will bless you for always reminding you. Oh, no, 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 no. I did not remind him. I did not. So don't give me that credit. He knows the due date he pays fees for all the children he's sponsoring. Really? Yes. Hey. So I didn't remind me. He was even the one that reminded me. I'll never stop praying for this, your son, <laughs> so that he can keep growing in politics yeah? until he becomes president. Amen. Amen. Thank Hi. you. And God will also bless your own children. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. So I'm sure now we can now play. Yes. My best <laughs> friend. Eh? <laughs> Mamo, come, my friend. Did she say anything? What I know now is that her mind is made. Oh no, how can you say that? <sighs> how can her mind be made on something that will hurt her? <sighs> oh, I feel your frustration. You think she will be destroyed if he says no? Exactly. Even the king feels the same. 
and she's not even saying anything to anyone. See, Priscilla, I brought you into this because I know you are the only one who could talk some sense into her. But unfortunately, she has barred me from discussing this any further. Let's give her the benefit of the doubt and believe she knows what she's doing. I know you are a guard from the palace because you had once delivered a message to me from the palace. <sighs> what is this visit for? I am not here as messenger of the king. Rather, I am here as messenger to the princess. Why? The princess summons your presence in the palace, madam. I have no business with the princess. You must not have business with her before she summons you. She wants to see you, madam. Please. Go back and tell the princess you didn't meet me at home. I wasn't around when you came here. A guard who is under royal oath cannot go back to the abode of the king and say he did not see a woman he saw and interacted with. Come on, do you even know if this is me? Why are you playing dumb with me? Huh? I am sorry, madam, but I can't lie to the princess. Really? Okay, I want you to swear right now. Swear you have never lied to the princess before. The princess is waiting for you at the palace, ma'am. What exactly does the princess want from me? What does she want? Must it be my son? I know exactly what is going on. I know exactly what you're planning to do. They just want to, they just want to frustrate me. All my efforts. They're trying so hard to stop me. But no, I would never allow them to succeed. Never. What in this world will make a woman to go proposing marriage to a man. Why will this princess want to drag me into her mess? Why? Why will it even be my son? Oh God. She can experiment whatever suits her exuberance, but definitely not with my son. No, not with my son. Never. Not with my son. I blame you, Kichibu. Had it been he got married when I was begging him, the princess wouldn't have made this trip in the first place. Ah, God, how do I solve this now?
Maker. Oh! What is the meaning of this now? You just distracted what I was almost getting. If you want, why can't you allow a girl to do what she feels is right? What are you blabbing about, Nega? Wait, are you sure you've not started smoking all this nonsense? I am not smoking anything, if anyone, and you know it. Okay. I was just practicing and meditating on how to approach Cassie and win him with ease. What? This is what you are here doing. Hi, Nika. Tell me, if anyone, why will I not do it? I have pleaded with you countless times to at least help me talk to Cassie, but you refused. So allow me to do my practice and meditation in peace. And don't distract me again. So you are really serious about this nonsense? Eh, Neka? As if I need your permission before doing what I want to do. Do you know me, Neka? I go for what I want. Okay. Go first. Don't embarrass yourself. When you're done, you can come back and we talk about it, oh? Is it not better that I try and fail? That not trying at all. At least mm. I am bold. I am better than some people who cannot stand that bold to speak their mind. And I'm sure you are not referring to me. I don't know. Don't just distract my practice again. Mm. Please. This is very important to me. <laughs> it will shock you in time you will run mad. Because very soon, you will run mad because of Cassie. And when that happens, I will remind you that I warned you. Biko, 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 Biko. Continue. Don't even go there if you want. At least I am better than you. I have someone I love. Mm. What about you who doesn't have anybody you're loving? And nobody is loving you. My own is better. Please allow me to do my practice and meditation in peace. This is very important to me. Don't distract me again. Hmm? You are very, very sick in the head. What do you mean by you are practicing on how to approach a man? See, Nika. If Cassie is meant for you, he would definitely come around. Stop doing this to yourself. Biasi, I am very hungry. What did you cook in the house? Let's go and eat. Let's go now. When I'm done eating, you cannot come back here and be <laughs> practicing. Let's go and eat. Ah, let I follow you. Why is this girl always a thorn on my flesh? What do you think the others will say when they hear this thing you are doing? I don't understand it, Father. Is it about what people will say or about what makes your only child happy? In as much as I care about you, I care about people of Omanato. My subjects, my boy, I can't be the one making laws and still be the one to break them. Well, I do not know of any law, Father. Apart from a belief system that has outlived its usefulness. I don't. I haven't done anything wrong. I have not killed anybody. I only told a young gentleman how I feel about him. How is that a crime? I mean, how does that warrant me coming to the Council of Chiefs to explain myself? You don't know what you're getting yourself into, my dear daughter. I mean, how many times are we going to discuss this? I will not say this again. My point is clear. It is not done. Father, how about my happiness? It's about my happiness, Father. You don't know this singular act of yours can cost me the throne. Even as I wouldn't want to discuss this whole thing in details. Father, is that what you're bothered about? You don't even care about how happy your daughter is going to be? Here you are. Killing yourself over a man that doesn't even care if he exists. That's not true, father. He loves me in return. Behaviors like this from you make me to start regretting the untimely exit of your mother. You wouldn't be doing this nonsense if she were to be alive. Father, I don't get it. Are you regretting having me as your daughter? Father, you're going too far. Why are you... Why are you calling my dead mother? Why can't I call my wife? Since you have chosen to kill me, I would rather go and stay with her instead of staying in the same house with a disobedient daughter whose only interest is what she feels is right. Nobody cares about me. 
It's all about the throne, the throne and every other thing. No one cares. Father, listen, I don't know the arrangement you have made about this, but the whole thing is making me sick. Why don't you want me to meet your father? Um, so now we don't meet in your mother, it's not my father? Yes, of course that's how it's supposed to be. I should meet your father now. I'm his son-in-law to be, I should meet him. <sighs> yes, yes babe, but we are not meeting my father now. Why? What, is there a problem? Why can't I meet him now? Why? Don't you love me enough to marry me? Babe, calm down. I'm, I'm calm. I'm trying to be calm. Meeting my father, it's not a problem. So, why are you trying to make it look like a problem? You're the one who's trying to make it look like a problem, baby. I've been asking for some time, but you keep saying the same thing over and over again as if you're dealing with a child. You're not dealing with a child. If there's a problem, tell me. Honey, look. I... I I am trying to put things in order, okay? I... I want him to accept you first, before you two commit. Of course you would definitely meet my no, father. No, no, that's, that's the point right there. You want him to accept me first? before meeting me, it, it doesn't add up. It does not add up. Let me meet him. Let me... Listen, if you love me, if you love me enough to want to spend the rest of your life with me, you've got to prove it to me. You've got to let me meet your father. I have to meet him. You already met my mom. I took you to go see my mom because I love you that much. Right? Yes. Babe, I really love you, okay? But you will not understand what I'm saying until you meet my father, then you understand. I don't see what I need to understand here, baby. Let me meet him. Stop assuming things, okay? You know what? Let me meet him, okay? Let me meet him. Whatever happens, we, you know, we, we take it from there. We, we, we go from there. Okay, fine. You won't meet my father, but I must warn you to get ready for the worst. If anything happens, do not put the blame on me. Okay. I get it, but... Whew. Listen, you know, I... I understand that you cannot entirely separate rivalry from politics, but I don't understand why your father hates the governor so much. I mean, see me now, I'm caught in the middle of all of this. You know, I'm having to deal with something that I know nothing about. I'm totally innocent, man. It's affecting me. It's affecting us. Huh? You know they say it's only a, a fool that fails to see her relative as someone deserving of Kola. So, I hereby present Kola to you, my dear friend, Mamoka. Amy, if this is your way of trying to bribe me into not saying what I came here to say, it will not work because I'm going to say it. Ah, uh -uh. <laughs> What could that possibly be? Come, 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 come. I hope you are not here to talk about my son again. Our son, you mean? And we both want the best for him, don't we? Oh, really? And you think that the princess is the best for him, right? Mm-hmm. Why would you want to prevent Okechuku from marrying the princess? <laughs> if I were in your shoes, I'll even push him to marry her myself. Thank God you are not in my shoes. Thank God you are not me and can never be me. Mm. I am me and you are you. Listen, 
I'm a kind of person that looks at issues critically before I take a decision. So don't think I just woke up and decided. Me listen, my friend. Can I go <laughs> I am telling you that you have not analyzed this one critically. Why would you want to prevent Okechuku from marrying the princess? You're making a big mistake. Says who? Uh -huh. I mean, why in this world would you even say a thing like that? Look, listen to me. Point of correction. My son is an already made man. He doesn't need the princess to validate himself in this amanato. He has already validated himself. Don't you know that if your son marries the princess, he automatically becomes the next king of this land? What is even bothering you? Eh? Why are you bothering yourself about this whole issue? Okay, don't you think that the approach she used was a wrong one? I mean, where has it ever been heard of? I mean, how does it even sound to the ear? To fear quoi? She won't start that with my son. Oh. Ah! In him, calm down. Eh? Calm down. We've gone beyond looking at the approach. What we're looking at is the end of this matter. Your son is already great, but marrying the princess will make him even greater. Hmm. Think about it now. What's it quite good? <laughs> Please, are you eating the cola or...? Of course I'm eating it, I've started. Because I won't hesitate to take it back. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Why did I know you were so serious? Hey! If, 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 why are you running from me? I'm H, the love of your life. Stop! Oh. Who is the love of your life? Me, I did not see me. Better respect yourself. If you want me, so let me tell you, if you want I love you, and I want to marry you. Just open up your heart and embrace my love. You will enjoy it. Mm. Amechi. If you know. Of all the girls in this village, eh? it is me, if anyone, that you chose to torment. Eh? What did I do to you now? I love you. Amechi, please leave me alone. I don't love you. Try and love me. Hey. Amechi, the next time you stop me on the road again, I am going to report you to the king. Hey, well. You report me to the king. Amechi. See, let me tell you, it's our king that's sitting there. I'm the one that made him who he is. Mm. See, he cannot report me to anybody. If a young one, just open your heart and said, I may take me. I've accepted to marry you. And I will marry you. See, don't mind all those girls who are receiving you. They are begging me to marry them. But I said, no. I love you for you. Know, I want to spend my life with you for you. Know, and you, just say, I'm a me, take me. Let us see. Stop doing like this. See. Of all the men in this village, mm -hmm. you chose Amechi the drunkard to come and ask my hand in marriage. Is this a cause? Me. Amechi, um, stay away from me. Hey, look at the way you called me. Amechi, see, call it again. Amechi, stay away from me. Amechi, hey, um, stay away from me. Hey, um, 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 um. I say it again, I will go. Amechi, hey, um, um. you are pushing me. If you want my love, hey. See, let me tell you, whether I like it or not, I must marry you. In two days' time, I'll come and pay for you. Let me not say that now, if I don't have money. But I must marry you. Let me report me to you, boy. Greetings, my princess. Greetings, Okechukwu. <laughs> the son of Ozonkwo Onwudinjo. Ah. 
A good man. You're welcome. Please be seated. Thank you, Princess. <laughs> Honestly, I cannot remember the last time anyone, you know, addressed me. <laughs> like, like that. How come you know so much about me? As the Princess of Amanato, am I not expected to know so many, if not everyone? In Amanato? Mm -hmm. Ah, Princess, if you can prove to me that you know everyone in Amanato, then I will admit that indeed you are great. Anyway, let's forget about that. Now that you're here, we need to talk. Do you have a reason for ignoring my invitations so many times? Ah, my princess, I'm sorry. Very sorry. Any excuse? I do not have an excuse as to why I did not respond to your invitations. But I am here, apologizing, hoping that my apologies will be accepted. Please, princess. Of course, you're forgiven. You are. Thank you. Um, once again, I welcome you to the palace of the king. It's a beautiful place. Thank you. <laughs> and... I really want us to talk. I want us to get to know each other better, you know? It would be my absolute pleasure to make your acquaintance, my princess. For indeed, you're a paragon of beauty, a gorgeous, gorgeous woman. Thank you. You sure have your way with words. Well, if you say so. I do know, though, that I like to speak my truth at all times. So if you tell me that you like the way that I talk, and I'll tell you that I am glad. Goodness. <laughs> I like you so much. I well, like okay, you. okay, okay, that's <laughs> fine. Can, can, can we at least take a walk? Sure. My pleasure. You, you drink? I'm fine for now. All right. After you, please. Okay. <laughs> so, um... Squeezing your face will not stop me from telling you the peace of my mind. I am not happy you still went back to the palace after everything I told you. One can we please focus on the issue at hand. Why didn't you tell me that you got a second invitation to the palace? There was no invitation. The princess only sent her guard to summon me and asked me to tell you that she wants to see you. That's all. Could that be an invitation? Oh yes, it is an invitation. I expect a woman of your caliber to know that that's an invitation. Listen, Mom, the fact that you don't particularly agree with her approach does not mean you make the princess feel less of a woman. That was an invitation you should have just gone there. And why are you trying to make me look bad now? The first time she invited you, did you go? Me, I thought since you didn't go the first time, it wasn't necessary bothering you again. Mother. So I decided to not to disturb you. Mother, mother. I am trying very hard to apply wisdom here because the princess's ego is involved. I want you to do the same. Oh, really? And you feel I have no right to know what transpired between you and the princess at the palace? What do you think transpired? Nothing happened. We sat down, we talked. She's cool. She's fun to be with her. That's it. Nothing extraordinary. Oh, I see. I think you're trying to settle down with the princess because I rejected the one you brought. Isn't it? So you think that because you have rejected the one I brought, I have also rejected the one I love? Ozioma remains the one that I want to spend the rest of my life with mother. Why? Why? I mean, why do you always, always speak without thinking? I have rejected Ozioma and she remains rejected. You should never be thinking of uh, uh, taking in princess so that at least you become royalty by royal marriage. Ozioma is rejected already. Why does the name Ozioma always trigger something in you? Because I hate her. Up to her background, she has nothing good to offer to anyone. 
they reject that stone, we'll soon become the chief cornerstone. At least not under my roof. We will see. Zioma, Zioma, my fruit. Zioma can never be my daughter-in-law, no matter how hard she tries. Okay, so right here, that's where I, I got what I'm wearing. Okay. It's one of my designers. Why are you why are you zooming why are you zooming into the guy's page now? You're looking for something to criticize. Calm down. <laughs> <laughs> so how do I look? I look good. Um, my dear friend, can you just calm down and communicate? I, I'm telling you, I, I was trying to show you. You were asking that, you know, that I about why you're dressed like this. Uh -uh. Look Tell me. I cannot look good. I mean, this is an ex this is an exception. I mean, why are you looking this good? What's that? Wait. <laughs> Ozema is pregnant, and you've decided to rush the whole marriage arrangement thing, right? Come on, it's a good news you'd have told me. What are friends for? You told me. Hi. Nedu, how are you my friend again? <laughs> what? Uh, okay, Ozioma is not pregnant. Uh, no, she's not pregnant. Okay, yes. Um, I have an invitation from the palace. Yes, from the princess as a matter of fact. So I'm going to honor that invitation later today. And I thought that it would be nice if I Looked good as always, actually. Oh, yes. Please, I. <laughs> I don't understand what you just said. Please, can you say it again? You want me to elaborate? Yes. What I'm saying is if you get your head out of where you put it and stop it from wandering, you would hear me. <laughs> they do, they do. I am honoring an innocent invitation. By the princess. From the palace. I'm going to see the princess. Ah. It's, I'm honest. That is it. Yes. So finally, you're going to see the princess. A woman who is an embodiment of class itself. She has finally swept you off your feet. And you, my friend, you are hell-bent on winning her over. Hi. Talk to me about it. Tell me. <laughs> What's wrong? Um, Chinedu, listen to me. I am going to honor an innocent invite from the princess. That's one. Ozioma is still the love of my life, and I'm never going to trade out for anyone else. You've always emphasized on that. <laughs> Who is dragging Ozioma with you? Uh, my concern is that you just get married as soon as possible so people like ours can follow suit. Um. Well, I actually came here to say hi to you first of all mm. and then to see if I can bid you to join me for lunch. But it's obvious you have better plans for yourself already <laughs> with the princess. And it's also obvious that I'll be having lunch alone. Okay, that's fine. So, <clears throat> say hi to the princess for me. Uh, Tell her your boy, Nino, uh, says hi. Okay? okay. <laughs> I think I like this. <laughs> and you look good, by the way. Yes. Your outfit, <laughs> it fits perfectly well. <laughs> uh, he saves the best for the last. You are stupid. <laughs> Thank you. And then the princess flew here. They do. You are foolish. Get out of my office. Please get married and pave the way for people like us. <laughs> ah, this man. Ah. Can I call you back, please? Yes. Of course. 
course, I will. I will not forget. Thank you. Yeah, cheers. Bye. Uh, wow, baby. I'm not saying this has been a while. So tell me, who is that? Um, the princess. What? I thought we talked about it. And you promised not to have anything to do with her. Yes, huh? we talked about it and we agreed that I have nothing to do with her and I have nothing to do with her. We're just talking about the festival. The festival of our people. Really? Yes. Just a phone call. Babe, why not come out plain and tell me you don't even want me anymore in your life? Babe, how can you say a thing like that? Come on, now you know I love you so much. Come on. It's nothing. It was just, we're just talking, really. Believe me. Do you love me? Of or you I love know. the princess? I love you. It's so annoying. How? It's so annoying. What is going on here? What Has it come to this extent? You're really angry. Yes, it has. You're so wicked. Why do you choose to hurt me this way? What did I even do wrong to you? Do you even care how much it hurts? Baby, I love you. I have not hurt you. It was just an innocent phone call. She loved me. Oh, you're rather confused. Just try and sort out yourself. I can't take this nonsense anymore. 